All right, guys, sorry about the terrible video yesterday. Didn't realize the uh, autofocus was not on, so I'm going to attempt to do this again, see if we can do this right. Um, super minor scratch right there in the middle, as you can see. Um, and then there's these three little... They're under the finish, okay. So that's not actually a scratch. That's just in the wood, under the wood. Oh no, I take that back. There is three little checks there. Three little three little minor chips about the size of a pinhead right there in the finish. Other than that, the top is perfect. Um, let's go around to this side here. Uh, perfect here. Oh, that looks great. I don't see anything there. So, let's go back to this side again, make sure I didn't miss anything. There is a little teeny chip right there. Super small. Look at the bottom real quick. And actually, there's actually a couple little dents right there. Okay. Um, bottom is beautiful. No issues there. Back. Um, again, beautiful, book matched. There is a slight little scratch, I think, right here. Let's see if I can angle that in such a way that you can see it. It's, I just can't really see it, but it's so small, you, you really almost have to hold it just perfect. You can barely notice it. Um, back of the neck is perfect. Nowhere. Head sock is perfect. Uh, there you go. Top of the head sock right there has a little blem on the corner. And right here on the very top. Right there. Okay. And right there. So th those two places there. Aside from that, um, it all looks great. Again, the manual is literally unread, I believe. There's not a page bent or torn. It's still holding its shape perfect. Inside of the guitar, there's your model number and serial number. It is a solid wood guitar throughout, back, sides, and top, of course. Um, no bubbles or anything in the back of the bridge. It's totally flat, in perfect condition. The case, again, as I mentioned before, um, beautiful. I mean, the fur, the fur is still in like new condition. Uh, it's not been worn out in any places at all. Inside here, you've got two uh, guild replacement truss rod covers. The key inside here, an extra saddle. That's the model of the case that this is. The sticker was on here on the side, I guess, and it just came unglued. Um, all of your your uh, straps here are like new, nothing torn, worn, or stretched. Okay, um, all latches work perfect. There is a couple little blems on the case, one right there, uh, a teeny tiny one right there. A couple little paint marks, it looks like maybe where it just rubbed up against the side of the wall or something there. No real chips. Here you've got your, your guild logo. Everything looks good there. Uh, again, these are just little paint marks. No chips or tears in the vinyl. There's a little tear here on the back, on the bottom. Other than that, everything's good to go. Um, so there's a little better uh, video, I think, for you to watch. Again. Fretwear is none. No fretwear whatsoever. Get that to zero in. Um, this guitar literally has been played a handful of times probably in its life and you can see that everything's perfect. There is a crack in this little truss rod cover right here. But that's why there's two more in the case for you to put on. All the inlay is perfect. Um, just a great guitar that uh, you won't find many like this I can assure you not that are 37 years old in this type of condition so 
good luck and uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed.